Hey guys. Well, today I'm out here on the G0602 and I'm turning some of these spacers for the X2 power drawbar. Now, this is just some three quarter inch OD, half inch ID. Uh, we're just cleaning up the OD as well as the ID and then putting a slight chamfer and then cutting them to length. Uh, these are for the X2 power drawbar kit. They're just a couple of spacers for the sidewall and I need two per kit. We're running this with the Altros turret. It's got uh, three tool changes. So we're going to be doing some uh, ID boring. We're going to be doing some profiling and then we're going to be doing some parting. So this is the last operation, the parting operation. And what I do is I just have it move over so that I can pull the stock out up against this and then that sets the length for me and then I can just hit cycle start and start again now I really only need some cutting fluid on the parting operation so I've got it just set up here with this I have yet to actually uh, set the turret up for coolant I want to clean out my coolant tank uh, before I start running it through the turret here because I don't want to clog anything up So let me show you what we've got and uh, let's just go ahead and run one real quick and then I'll tell you how I got the g-code all right here we go cycle start we're gonna move to our tool change position and change our tool is a facing operation. Chamfer. And we're just going to clean this stock up. And we're going to put a chamfer on the other side. tool change we're going to clean up the ID make it about 0.51 Now we're going to part this off. Alright, now we're set up for our next part. So what I normally do is just Slide the stock out up against the parting tool here, and then I'm ready to go. Here's what we end up with. Then I just take a drill with a chamfer tool and clean up this inside edges. That's about it. So I'm just skinning the inside here just to clean up this uh, inside diameter. Make it a little bit bigger uh, because I'm trying to slide it over some half inch rod here. So I make it about 0.51. It's just a spacer. So that way it'll go over my half inch rod there and, and that's it. Uh, these spacers are 30 millimeters, 1.7 inches, and you can see uh, we're dead on there. 1.17, excuse me. 
so that's it yeah I'm just out here running some parts uh, really uh, trying to get caught up on all my kits and stuff uh, again they are in stock let me show you uh, some of this G code I get a lot of questions about Mach 3 turn and the G code so I thought that I would take a minute uh, in this video and just kind of go over some of the things that um, I normally do when I'm running this code now for this particular part here I just hand coded all of this because it was just a lot easier than drawing it up in Fusion 360 and having it output a file normally the code that generates some Fusion 360 I need to always seem to have to come back and hand edit it anyway so all I did was just hand coded this now you can use a combination of uh, hand coding and Mach 3 wizards so we're running G95 which is uh, feed per revolution a lot of times Fusion 360 doesn't uh, output this G95 uh, so I have to always seem to go back and and, and input this G95 into the code but what I did for this was I just went up to the Mach 3 Wizards let me show you this let's go up to Wizards pick a wizard uh, turning hit run and it gives you several different wizards you can do just about anything now most of the time when you're doing lathe work unless you have some uh, fancy profile you can get by with just running these wizards so the first wizard I did was just a facing operation here I just pulled that up and put in my information so you click on that and it wants your plunge feed rate your X start position your X end position uh, and then it wants your Z start position and your Z end position uh, your roughing feed rate and your finish feed rate go back and then next I did a just a profiling which I hand coded because we're just making a straight linear move in the Z direction I also put in a chamfer here with this taper wizard so I just put in my information here the X start and end the angle I wanted uh, my Z start position the Z end position uh, and then there that ended up getting this little uh, chamfer right here that was right after my facing operation and then once I did the facing operation I just came back and did this linear move to clean up the surface and then on the back side I just Push the cutter in to get my chamfer on the back end and then came back and did the internal boring so the internal boring there's a wizard for that as well so I did an internal uh, boring wizard here and got my information you know the start position Z position and then that's where I came up with this internal boring operation so here is the facing operation and chamfer operation and then here is our profile right here so we're at uh, x.74 and we go back to z minus 1.25 and once we get to that position then we're going to push the cutter in to 0.65 which is going to give me my chamfer uh, then we back out retract and then now we're going to do a tool change for our internal boring here our start position is 0.498 we're going to move Z set our speed our feed rate and then we're going to go to X.51 and Z minus 1.2 then we're going to change our feed rate back out stop and then we move to our parting operation the parting operations we're going to do our tool change move over to 1.186 at X.75 then we're going to go into 0.41 at a feed rate of 0 0.002 now this is constant surface speed G95 uh, then we're going to back out 
0.85 move back over to a position of Z.06 and then that will allow me to uh, move my stock out and get it in position for the next piece um, pretty straightforward on the G code there and so that's the way I run my G code I'll, I, a lot of times I do mostly hand editing um, unless it's a complex uh, part I'll do the G code in Fusion 360 but it inevitably I always end up having to do some type of editing to the G code because Fusion 360 does not always output it in a format that Mach 3 can really uh, use so but for the most part it does a good job it's just it never seems to add that G95 there so I have to kind of always go back in there and put that in now that you've seen what how I generated the G code uh, we'll run it again and you can see uh, how it goes guys well you can see that's how uh, the turret's working you can see it works pretty good I uh, been just going in and modifying all my g-code to uh, access the Altros turret so that I can run it still working with it I've got to as I said before I've got to clean out my coolant tank so that I can go ahead and prep all of these tool blocks upper plates to uh, run coolant through it and I'll uh, once I get that set up, I'll post a video on that so you can see how that kind of works. Guys, thanks for watching the videos. If you're new to my channel and are just tuning in, click on that subscribe button down there below in the corner. Also, click on the notification bell, and then that way when I post a new video, they'll send you a link, and if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. Guys, as always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. I'm always interested in any suggestions you have for video content. Feel free to post that as well. Alright guys, well I guess that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.